Hello YouTube, this is Nicole Square, and um, please ignore the desktop, it is very, very dirty, and um, I need to clean it soon. Um, but anyway, this will be the first episode in a long series, or, well, probably pretty lengthy series, about the language of Lua. Um, L-U-A, Lua, so, um, some people say Lua, some people say L-U-A, whatever. It's a, uh, scripting language that, it's a pretty powerful scripting language, it's used in a lot of things, like, um, it's used to create add-ons in Gary's Mod and World of Warcraft and games like that, and, um, it can be used for a lot of cool things. Now, what is Lua, you might ask? Well, I kinda just told you, and don't mind this, I've been... Watching some HTML stuff, some website thingy that I have been just playing around with to do stuff. Don't mind it. Not important. Source for it. Also not important. Anyway, so this is the Lua homepage, www.lua.org. And, um, see, it's, um, right now it's Lua 5.2.1. And, um, so... What I'm going to try to teach you is everything, is most, if not everything, covered inside of this Lua 5.2 reference manu, uh, manual. Well, actually, technically, we're going to be teaching 5.1. Um, same concept, pretty much the exact same language, 5.2. I, honestly, I don't even know the difference. <laughs> um, 5.2 is like not released long ago though which is why not a lot of things are using it but anyways you can see we got like introduction language all this crap that I'm going to try and teach you so um you're like okay what okay I know what Lua is now but how do I use this wonderful language well what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to um Go into your address bar and type in Lua4Windows.com. Or maybe it's not Lua for Windows. Well, just use Google and type in Lua for Windows. That should work. Yep, and then you click here, and it should take you to this Google Code thingamajanger. And you're going to want to download from Google Code, download the installer, download the installer, and click run or save or whatever you want to do it's going to download I ex excuse if this may seem a little boring but um it's pretty early 9 13 in the morning as you can see very early for me i haven't been up this early pretty much all summer um but school's starting in like like four days it's gonna suck Anyway, so whenever you run the setup, it's gonna say this will install Lua for Windows 5.1.4 46 on your computer. Recommend that you close all other applications before continuing. Blah blah blah. You don't really have to do that. You're gonna hit next. You're gonna hit I accept. You're gonna just leave it as uh, default, which is usually this if you got 64 bit, which I actually do. I just deleted that because, um, I was trying to test some stuff, whatever. Um, if you got 64-bit, as most people do nowadays, this will be your default directory. If you still, if you're still using Dinky old 32-bit, this x86 will not be here. And then anyway, you're gonna hit next. And it's gonna say, well, for me, I've already installed. I've already installed Lua, so it's gonna say it already exists. I want to install it anyway, just so you know. Um, choose full installation. Make sure this script editor is good hit next next um you can create a desktop icon if you would like i'm not going to if you want a a, a black background syntax highlight theme for your script editor you can i don't i personally don't like it hit next and, and hit install it's going to install lua yep just waiting now it's usually a lot faster for me, but I guess it's because I'm recording. Again, to um, you can run a simple introduction if you want, but for right now, I am your simple introduction. So, 
you don't have to worry about that. And now you should be done with that. Now if you click on all programs, scroll down to Lua, you should see uh, so it says S-C-I-T-E. This is going to be our IDE. For those of you that don't know what an IDE is, it um, means Integrated Development D Integrated Development Interface and or er, Integrated Development um, uh, Integrated Development something. I can't think of the word right now because I'm tired. Integrated Development Environment. That's what it is. It's an Integrated Development Environment. And, um, so, what we're gonna do to start off is, I know it's pretty corny and all, a lot of people have seen it before, it's done in every programming language, but it is essential. We're going to do the Hello World program, which in Lua can be done with just one line of code. We're gonna type print, open, uh, open parenthesis open quotes and then hello world close quotes close parentheses and then you're going to click uh, run program which is not there until you save it you're gonna want to save the file and I actually I already have a um, a folder for this you might want to create in fact you probably should create a folder for all your source code and stuff Anyway, so it mine is saved on Dropbox. You can save it wherever you want. Anyway, we're gonna save it in here, and we're going to call it "Hello." Um, and it might would have helped if I saved it as a .dot lua file. Um, save as. Just go ahead and delete that if you saved it like that. You're gonna want to type "Hello .dot lua." That is critical. And now you're going to click this run program, and it's going to say Lua space dash e iota std out, out colon set v buff no hello dot Lua, and this goes say hello world, and this goes say exit code zero, which means it exited. This is the simplest program you can make in Lua, and um, so this should conclude it for this tutorial. Next tutorial, I'll be teaching you some more useful things about Lua. And, um, so, uh, b before I end, you may be thinking, oh my god, this thing is stupid, what is it useful for? Unsub. But, um, <laughs> uh, don't unsub just yet. It is useful for many things. Um, it can be implemented in C++ as an extension scripting language type thing, so you're like users of like a game or something can create custom add-ons and game modes and game types and stuff like that for your game and it's also used in a lot of um like uh like a game development engine or something like this one for example love it's the love 2d engine it uses lua as its main language and i will eventually be getting to it and teaching you how to use it uh, be patient though, I'm, as I must it, teach you Lua first. Um, because if I don't, it would be like trying to fly a plane without. I don't know, without training or something. That was a terrible um, comparison. Terrible comparison. But um, it, it's also used in the computer craft mod for. Um, Minecraft for making custom scripts. I'll also be going over it and all of its APIs and things. But until then, I'm the Steekle Square, signing off. Be sure to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time. Bye.